I had some inspiration at the liquor store to help you unlock more income potential at your short-term rental. Hey, I'm Kate Stormer. I help folks understand and unlock income at their short-term rental. And we're going to talk about price and value and a lesson learned at the liquor store this week. Typically, when I talk about price and value with my clients and my students, it is, you know, our short-term rental belongs in a budget tier and our budget tier has certain expectations assigned to it, right? That, that our guests expect to get. So just like if I'm going to a restaurant, if it's a one-star restaurant like McDonald's, I understand the experience I'm going to have there. And if it's four stars, I understand the experience I'm going to have there. It's vastly different, but I understand the full experience just kind of based on those dollar signs. But I was um, in the actually uh, wine section, not the liquor section, but this will do for the, for the analogy here. And I loved the visual of this because just like these liquor bottles, our budget tiers are like shelves, right? So a few takeaways from this top shelf, right? We understand that those are going to be the more expensive and depending on where you live, that price is going to be a little bit different. Um, we have a certain set of ex expectations about what these different shelves are going to give us. If I'm, you know, a poor college student, I'm buying bottom shelf kind of stuff, right? But if I, you know, have a certain level of wealth and I desire a certain experience, I'm going to get that top shelf experience, right? And everything else comes in between. Each shelf actually has a price range, right? But it's important to note the price range may have some overlap by shelf. And it's just like our short-term rentals. We have to be really clear about where we belong, but we also have to allow that there's a little bit of gray area in there because there's going to be some overlap. So you might find some $30 bottles here and you might find a couple $30 bottles here, right? And the reality is that when I'm going to the liquor store, just like when I'm logging on to Airbnb or Verbo or wherever I'm shopping for my short-term rental, I have an expectation, an idea of the thing that I want, right? And so then when I show up to go shopping, the liquor store makes it pretty easy for me. Um, it's much harder because it is a much more complex want and price point in short-term rentals. So one big takeaway I want you to take though is price is just an indication of value. It is a signal of which shelf we probably are on as a short-term rental or as a bottle of liquor, right? And the reality is I can't walk into the short-term rental big box store and go, oh, these properties are top shelf properties and these properties are everyday house wine properties and these properties are I'm too poor to afford anything college student properties, right? Like this is not the um, way that consumers can consume and make lodging choice in short-term rentals. So we have to use price as one of the indicators, but other indicators are our headline, are the photos, very, very big signal is our photos, all of those things. So um, before I wrap up with the t with three things you can do today, this was from a wheelhouse um, article of uh, 16 properties that generate over a million dollars of short-term rentals. Obviously, this is a top tier property and it is so important as a short-term rental if you want to optimize your income that you understand the tier, the shelf that you belong on, right? And it is different by market. This is a point many people don't understand. Your tier is going to vary by market, okay? Um, there are some markets where a pool will 5 or 10x your income. In some markets, it won't change it at all. Okay, so you have to understand your tier and the amenities and the experience that people are going to get. I guarantee you, by the time your guests have spent in the vacation rental industry five to seven hours researching travel lodging, they know this stuff inside and out. You have to deliver on your promises. You want to unlock income potential, you've got to deliver on, on your promises. If you're a top shelf liquor, you better taste like a top shelf liquor, right? Um, so if you tell people you provide TP, toilet paper, and they show up and you've got one roll of toilet paper for 10 people, you did not deliver. Okay. And go a little bit above, above, even if you're in the two buck chuck aisle uh, section, you know, shelf, um, you know, leave a couple candies on their pillow. 
That doesn't cost hardly anything, right? Um, and that will make them feel special. Um, if you can offer them a late checkout because there's nobody coming the next day, if you can leave some snacks and some letters, um, send a message that is personalized for the fact that they told you it was an anniversary or birthday, whatever that looks like. Um, if you go a little bit above and beyond, you will have a far greater chance of unlocking your income potential. Again, I'm Kate Stormer. I share all about unlocking income potential over at the CEO host on my YouTube channel, on my blog, give a like, share, or follow to support a small business today if this resonated with you.